Differential input mode is selected in the setup window sampling tab. This mode affects how the channels are physically connected to your device and what other features are available such as the sampling rate. Unlike other logic analyzers which require dedicated probe to capture the differential signals, the GoLogic XL can capture both single-ended and differential signal types using the same probes. When differential mode is selected, the GoLogic XL is reconfigured so that the even and odd channels are paired. Adjacent channels like A0 and A1 and A2 and A3 form signal pairs. The even channels in each differential pair, such as A0 or A2, are connected to the negative signal. The odd channels in each pair, such as A1 or A3, are connected to the positive signal. While running, the GoLogic XL hardware reads the difference between the positive and negative signal halves to create the final input signal stored to the trace data. When switching to differential mode, the software asks to automatically adjust the channel groups as needed. In almost all cases, it's best to allow this adjustment. In the Channels tab, the adjacent channels are handled as a single object. Clicking on either A0 or A1 toggles a combined channel in the group definition. Likewise, dragging across channels adds them in two channel pairs. Otherwise, the channel groups behave the same as single-ended input mode. When switching back to single-ended mode, the software asks to automatically adjust the channel groups as needed. Again, it's best to allow this adjustment in almost all cases. However, the nature of single-ended and differential modes make it unlikely that you'll switch back and forth between them very often. The next video discusses how the active channels affect the sampling rate and the sampling depth.